There are three different ways that you can add cascading style sheets or CSS to your web page or web pages. Inline, internal, and external. This video will demonstrate how to add inline CSS to your web page. Now the inline method is kind of like it sounds. It's used in the line where the HTML tag and the content is located. Now this should only be used when a particular style is required one or two times on the page. The problem with the inline method is that if you decide later on to change all of your H2 text to red instead of say the original blue style that you had, you have to make the change on each H2 entry individually. The inline style, attribute, and property is placed inside the relevant HTML tag. Demo time. Now I've got my text editor opened up here. That's Komodo. So I'm going to go ahead and open up an HTML5 template. Go up to File, New, File from Template. Make sure that HTML5 is selected. Click on Open. And let's go ahead and put in my page title. And in the body, I'm going to go ahead and add an H2 style along with some text for that H2 tag. I got the open bracket h2 space and the attribute is style equals give me a couple of double quotes backspace into those double quotes and I want to make the background color which is the property and then colon whoops colon and then I want to set the value for that property at oh nice bright yellow and let's close that out. You see with Komodo it goes ahead and adds the closing H2 tag already. So now that I want to put in my content and let's add our paragraph. Again another example of the inline CSS style. Opening bracket P space add the attribute style and with it automatically popping up there, I just hit the return key and it fills in the blanks for me. And I want to put in double quotes, but I'm going to only put in one this time. And you see how it automatically fills in the second one for me. I want to add the property. And by the way, you can add multiple properties and multiple values to the same style. You just have to separate them by the semicolon. So now that I need the property value separator, which is the colon. And you can see here that you've got the little tip box that pops up there. This one sets the background color of an element, either a color value or the keyword transparent to make the underlying colors shine through, which is pretty cool. And a nice bright green color. And here is the semicolon that I forgot to put in the first one after the word yellow. Now then let's go ahead and close this out. And Komodo will go ahead and add the closing paragraph tag for me just like that and my content and let's save this now of course if this were a home page I was making then I would want to name it index.html because that way the browsers will automatically pick this up we'll click on save and let's go ahead and preview this in let's say Chrome click on preview and it popped it in over here so let me resize this and here it is let me go ahead and shrink this down a little bit so we can see the coding that we've got here so we've got the h2 that's this guy right here whoops i messed up i meant to put the number two there instead of holding my shift key down i put the at symbol sign there but anyway it did work out pretty good and then this here is the example of the paragraph background color. And again, you can add multiple properties and values to the same style. If I wanted to style up the text within that paragraph, then I can add an additional property and value like font color and then the color red. And then that would not only give us a background color of green, but also the text color of red. Pretty cool stuff. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on inline CSS.